Hey folks, welcome back! Alrighty, so it is time to do a stable video, and there's kind of a lot to this one, and there's kind of not. So I just went ahead and talked to the ladies standing here. Now, if you haven't already done one of the quests that deals with them, you know, going into a cave, matter of fact... Uh, let's see if I can figure out where that would have been. Okay, I think, I, and I'm not, I'm about 99% sure that's where they are the first time, so... You know, if I'm off on that one, I'm sure somebody will have my back and comment on that. But, um, yeah, so anyway, long story short, you know, you've got to kind of get that done. And then you, this is kind of like their second spot. So what I like to do is they kind of pointed the way down this road. I like to go ahead and get my horse out. Yeah. Aww. Oh. 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 Ah. Oh. Oh. Mm. Ah. Don't forget to remove your harness there. And we are out of here. And this cave isn't super far down the roadway here. Yeah. Oh. Gotta go get my ice lizzle horn. Yeah. And possibly. And a tail. Woohoo! Where did my horse go? Okay, so that cave should be right in front of me here. I didn't think my horse was actually going to go in the cave. Can you ride a horse in a cave? Bro. Mind freaking blown. Okay, so I haven't put like thousands of hours into this game, but I've put some time into this game. And it never even occurred to me to try doing that. So that is insane. And that never would have happened unless I, I made that boo-boo there. And, uh, you know, just tried to be a little bit lazy and get the horse as close as I possibly could. That was nuts! Alright guys, so just like any other good old cave, you got your goodies in here. I need to make me something with a rock on the tip. Of course, I'm not going to have any. Now watch. Whenever I need to make a rock hammer, no rocks in sight. So yeah, that's just perfect. Okay, so no big deal. Anyway, this is the tent. You know, this is the cave. We uh, All you got to really do is clear the enemies. There's no loot. Other than the loose lootables, there's no, um, you know, treasure chests, but there should be a bubble frog in here. So before I get out of here, I will take you up there for that. That should pop you up right in front of a false wall. I'm going to stand back this time. You know, I'm a slow learner, but I do learn. So now I'm standing back. Okay, so I actually found a rock.
All right, just made my rounds, made sure I got all my goodies. I think that's pretty much it for the cave, folks. So with that, I will meet you back outside with our horse. It's funny, all the talking I've been doing about, you know, needing time for experimenting and everything. Um, I, I didn't dry run this video. I figured, you know what, just play it. If, you know, you get lost or, you know, if you want to experiment with something, you can always cut that stuff out of the video. So, you know, you know why not? Just go ahead and do a, a straight-up video here. And so it's kind of like an experimentation video without, you know, you having to actually watch me do it for the next three hours. So it'll be in snippets, you know, just like everything else. Yeah. All right, guys, so now that we are back on our horse, we can get back to our stable and get our next round of questing going. Now, every stable's got a dog. Every stable's got a well. So, um... As long as you've done the whole pen thing to get that all fired up and going, every stable should also have a pen. So I'm going to hit all that fun stuff. Now the well... Actually, before I get the pen stuff going here... I'm going to take you to the well, and I can't remember which dog I had to feed. I think it was the one far left. So I'm going to go try that one first. I'm pretty confident that's the right dog. Oh, there's also a Karak seed here before I get too much into all that. Because I will forget it. So folks, I probably mentioned a time or two that I'll be finding a pace again that was cons more consistent with, you know, what I was able to put out, uh, you know, content-wise uh, for, for the game here uh, before the holidays. So guys, you've probably heard me mention before, I'm going to try to find a pace again that was more consistent with what I was able to do before the holidays. So, you know, that was probably like three big videos a week, you know, give or take. Sometimes I did a little bit better in a week. Sometimes, you know, I didn't quite make that. It was only one or two, depending on what I had going on. But, um... I totally was supposed to, you know, I was trying to go somewhere with that. And I've lost it. Okay, so once you get your dog to eat three apples or four if you forgot to wait for the pink puff of smoke like I just did. And then as per the usual, the dog should take you right to a treasure chest. Hopefully this doesn't scare the dog away. This used to be a star fragment. What do we have now? A purple rupee. Yay! We rock! Alright, guys. Every stable's also got the well. Now this one... You just kind of gotta wait it out. There's a way to speed it up, but... Yeah, it's okay. So once you're down below in the well, now I totally forgot. I should have had my stealth clothes on. Uh, there's usually fairies down here, but I'm I must have better than two fairies in my inventory right now, so they're just not spawning in. So if you know your favorite Sky Islands, you know if you've been overtaxing those and they're just not spawning quick enough for you, as long as you got two or one fairies, you know, left in your pouch, you can hop down here with your stealth on, and you should be able to find three or four fairies. Gemstone loot wasn't real great in here. Let's see what we get out of the rare. Ooh. That more than made up for it. 
I got a triple bag there. All three of the big ones. Alright, so that's the well. Just, you know, keep it in mind when you're doing your fairy rounds. It is a good spot to hit. Okay, there are some loose lootables around here as well. Now, I don't think the other two dogs do anything, but honestly, I'm going to check them anyway just to be sure. Tons of apples. The only thing I hate about the apples is it just takes the dog a while to find it. But I notice it kind of seems to be that way in Tears of the Kingdom, even when I'm using the meat. Uh, Breath of the Wild, as long as you stuck it down right in front of them, they'd stop what they were doing and they'd eat. Uh, this one, they, they like to kind of take their time. They like to play with their food. I'm not a fan. Okay, so this is going nowhere. Let's try the other one. Man, there's the other dog. Wow, they both do the same thing. They do that on purpose. You know, I know a couple of you had told me in comments, just joking around, Nintendo was watching or listening. And the longer I play this game, the more I'm starting to see that. And the more I'm starting to believe maybe they actually changed that game based on what they saw. Okay, so that's it for the dogs. So yeah, it was just that first one there. Okay, so if you're wondering what that's all about, I wasn't actually going to include that in my stable video, but uh, maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see how I feel about it. So yeah, there's like a bad boy nest right here. It's one of the big fort type, and I think that's where it's pointing you. That's, it's more or less due south. Uh, in fact, you can see like a giant campfire coming up from it there. So... Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll see how I feel about it. For right now, I just kind of want to get my horse and go kill this Gleecock, because we're about to do the pen quest. Okay, so every stable's got a pen quest, and it's always something different. You might have to go, you know, do different, you know, things, tasks, whatever, but it's all kind of the same idea. Everybody thinks they saw Zelda... So, you know, you have to go see if you can find her yourself, and it never is. Uh... So, folks, kind of getting back to what I was saying about, you know, my pay's getting back to, you know, pre-holiday, you know, give or take. Um, you know, in the meantime, give my other games a, a watch. Um, there's a couple that, for example, that... Skyrim 012E. It's a cooking video, but about two minutes in, I was trying to do mental math, and guys, I was just way overthinking it. And I knew the answer right away, but in my mind, I was like, no, that can't be right. That, you know, that, that's too easy, whatever. And I just... I, 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 I just lost all my brains. So, yeah, you know, you might get a kick out of that one. Like I said, it's about two minutes in. But, you know, if you wouldn't mind, if you got the time, just, you know, watch a video or two. You know, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh-huh. The disappearing bear. 
Maybe it's winter and he had to hibernate. Alright, so, um, there's our Gleecock. Now, I don't think this quest marker does anything, because normally they don't, but I'm going to try anyway. Because when they do, I want you guys to know that. Whoops. Okay, so, uh, as predicted, you know, the, the quest marker has absolutely no help here whatsoever. It's going to take you right back to the stable. So, if Nintendo is listening, and they ever decide to make another video game like this... If you want quest markers, use quest markers. If you don't want quest markers, that's fine. Pick one. Please. Yeah, there's a hidden treasure chest around here, and my treasure chest isn't lighting up, so I'm kind of wondering why. All right, so I am not approaching this guy from the air, but all the same rules apply. Arm up, suit up, eat up. Don't mind if I do. In case you were wondering what that was all about, I hit the wrong button. That would have been right on the Xbox. Alright, this is normally where I would save my game, so I'm just going to go ahead and let it roll. Now, I do want my attack power meal going in. What am I doing with that? This fight should be over pretty quick, but you can never be too sure. Okay, as soon as you get within range, launch. Get those heads, guys. Don't give them much time to to drill you here. You're going the wrong way, horsey. Ah, Tulin got a couple of headshots. You go! Oh, I just broke my smasher. So that's unfortunate. Please don't die, horsey. Okay, I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to... Whoops. Must have pressed the wrong button there. I lost my traction. I did press the wrong button there. Did my horse die? Guess not. Okay. No more fooling around. So normally, you know, I would plan that a little better. I would, you know, be close to cover, all that fun stuff. I just kind of decided to dive right in there. Uh-oh, you got a shot off. I need to duck and cover. I didn't make it. So speaking of that, you know, well with all the fairies, uh, I think I'm going to be revisiting that here pretty soon. I don't have any more bone weft. Wow. I need to do some weapon crafting. I might be able to get him. Come on, Link, get up. Come on, buddy. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna get him. So close. I didn't think that was gonna work, but you know, it was worth a shot. Oh my god, it actually hit him! I didn't think those things could make the altitude. No freaking way. Okay, that one didn't hit him. But wow, they actually make the altitude. It's not doing the headshot, but it's actually hitting him. Okay, that's new to me too. I've never even thought to use the eyeballs on something that far away. So I guess it has the same range as the bat wings, which is pretty cool. I mean, you know, if you've got both, you're better off toasting the, bas the bat wings, because the eyeballs are what you want for those headshots. But, uh, so yeah, where am I at on fairies now? Perfect. So right back to the well. Oh, before I do that, I totally forgot what I was here for. Zelda's horse. I normally see it out here somewhere, normally up by the cliff, but it is not here right now. Okay, that's a little farther out than what I remember. But hey, it's here nonetheless. So just to show you on the map, it really is, you know, a bit north. So that King Leacock, or whatever that is, Frost, um, you know, I killed him pretty far south. Normally he is a little higher north. And I don't know if that happened because of the quest or not. But um, either way, you know, once you kill the, the Gleecock there, just go ahead and head north. And you will find Golden Horse. Now, just like any other horse catching, I like to do a shock arrow here. You know, we don't want to kill him. I'm not wearing bone suits, so that should actually be safe. Take some stamina. All right, guys. All we got to do is ride her now. If you want to feed it ten apples, you can get it tamed, and it'll behave better for you on the ride. Or maybe you don't have to on this one. That's right. This one's already tamed. Okay, so I always, you know, stop for duck crossing here anytime I see elemental lizzles or. Bats. Whoops, that is not going to summon him. Yeah, I wonder if my horse will follow me while I'm on a horse. Oh, it won't let me whistle it. Hold up. I got this. Sweet. I'm learning all sorts of stuff tonight. It has been a productive day. Okay, now embedded in some of these structures, you might find some more uh, frost, whatever, fruit, ice fruit. Okay, so this thing isn't exactly pre-tamed, but it does better than most horses that you haven't tamed yet. So I misspoke earlier. Okay, so this horse is not bad. Um, you know, if you kind of like it and you think it's cool, uh, you know, as far as a lot of wild horses come, it, it's not bad. I'll go ahead and get it to the stable here. Oh, oh. Eh? Ha! 
Okay, so that's how you get your royal gear for the horse. Along with all the regular loot. Oh yeah, the froggy shirt, guys. Kind of forgot that was coming. So now if the best, you know, elixir you can possibly craft is, um... Only, you know, mid-level, you can stack that with the shirt here, and that makes it high level. Then you can pretty much climb in the rain like it's not really raining. So, you know, it's only one piece right now, yeah, but that, like I said, you can combine that with the potion, or elixir. Alright, so let's go get our horse registered. Little, little fringe benefit to doing the quest there. Okay, so like I said, not bad. Um, you know, you can always bump that speed up at the, the horse god. Make it a five-star speedster. The strength is on point. The pull could be a little better. Not gonna lie. Uh, so, you know, if I was gonna keep this one... Oh, what the heck, I'll just go ahead and keep it anyway, but... Uh, yeah, I would probably dump that... That bump into speed first. And then I would definitely start bumping the pull. At least three stars in the pull. Uh, more ideally, i like to have four in that. Oh. Oh. So... Oh. Well, since I can't say Goldilocks, it's going to be Goldilock. I know, super original, right? Oh. No one has ever named this horse Goldilocks before. Okay, so from here I am actually going to check to see what kind of perks I've got coming from Pony Points because I have not looked at this thing in a minute. Traveler stuff there. Okay, so I need one more point. I'm just going to go ahead and sleep at the stable here. Just to, you know, see what I got coming now. Since I'm that close. But remember, you have to buy the bid. You can't do the, the tickets. No! Wrong buttons. Oh. So I just like to pass time until the next available time slot there, so I'm not, you know, wasting a bunch of time toward my next blood moon. Unless you really want a blood moon, then yeah, feel free to spend as, you know, pass as much time as you want. Okay, so I got my pony point. I got another reward. Hi. Night's gear. All right. Wonder how many pony points I need to get to my next level. Yeah. You know, I really hate how they make you stand here and watch him walk over to you with this "I'll be right with you" deal. Okay, just three more, so that's not terrible. All right, guys. So, let's see here. We've got the dog fed, we got the well, we got the pen quest, we got the other cave deal. What else is going on at the stable? I think that's it. Oh no, the picture! I'm a genius! Alright guys, so we've got the pen quest done, and we've got, you know, the cave diving for what's her name over there? Did I ever clear that? <laughs> I don't think I did. I did not. Oh. 
All right, so they go off to their next location, and we are done with the captured tent. So now every stable's got a dog. Every stable's got a well. And now, before I forget, every stable has a picture we need to take. Okay, guys, remember this, and remember how much I just loved finding the snow in the mountains, or the bird in the mountains. Yeah, so, uh, this kind of, you know, further solidifies the fact that they are watching, and they made sure that, you know, to, to make it a point to make me go back there. So, what are they talking about? They are talking about the Grinch's Christmas tree way up on top of... Toledo Peak there, and that's the bird in the mountains, which to this day I still don't see a freaking bird there. And unfortunately I don't have a quick, you know, a good quick warp point, so I guess I'll kind of chop the video out, get up there, get the picture, and then we'll go from there. But before I do that, I want to make sure I got my shrine activated this time. Okay, before I, you know, go all the way out there and then back, let me... Uh, I'm really debating whether or not I want to do the whole... And I kind of feel like I do. Okay, so just kind of wanted to show you guys what Beetle had for sale here. You know, when I get more rupees than I know what to do with, I might start buying some of these, but for now it just doesn't make sense to do that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do that just because it is here and there was that note posted and you know, if I'm doing a stable video, I, I just kind of feel like we need to include that. So first things first. Okay, now that didn't actually trigger the quest. I think you have to talk to the like, guards or whatever up there. The troops. Alright guys, so they're not going to attack, you know, we've done these before, the, the guys just kind of went to town, we didn't have to do anything to make that happen. This time we do. So what I like to do on this one, I just kind of like to dive right in. And I do have that 10 up there, so I'm going to craft that. And bone suit.
And I just realized I totally forgot to eat my attack power meal on that dragon fight. Totally spaced on it. But that's okay. I just wouldn't be me unless I did something like that. Okay, so now the bobkin is leveling. Using a savage line of blow, bow on blue bobkins. It's a good time. We're not going to talk about that. Okay, now be careful. He's got a lot of bomb barrels laying around, and that can make this a bit hairy. Oh, look at that bow just knock it out of him. Okay, so I didn't actually move. All right, so I didn't actually move that big ball out of the way that they were talking about. Man, eh, yeah, yeah, to each their own. I just, I just tend to go in and go for it. We're not going to talk about that either. Noise. All right, guys. So anytime you encounter these, whatever they're called, these forts or whatever. Oh, getting back to what I was saying about you know moving that ball out of the way. So if we really wanted to, you know, I could approach from a different direction, and I could have just simply ultra handed that thing out of the way. But like I said, I just kind of like to dive right in. I probably just wasted a ton of inventory on that. Wow, high level cold meal? Where did that come from? I didn't cook that one. Must have been one of these quests I wasn't paying attention to getting when I was spamming the button trying to get through whatever loot they were giving me. Alright, folks. Uh, let's see here. We've got a couple of goodies topside. Piece of amber, go us. That's another thing. Somebody mentioned in comments, and I guess I really hadn't noticed until they said something. And honestly, guys, it's been a while now, and I can't remember who it was. But, um... Yeah, pass. But, yeah, they say, you know, the loot in this game just isn't as fun as it was in Breath of the Wild. And, yeah, you know, now that it, somebody said that and I'm paying attention to it, yeah, it's really not. Alright, I'm pretty much done here. I don't think there's anything too exciting in these either, but I'm gonna check, just, you know, want to be sure. Huh. 
That was awesome. So is that. Okay, so just a whole bunch more of the same. Alright, guys. Now I'm really done here. So, now that that's, you know, all done and out of the way, I will go ahead and warp away for the... Uh, what was it we had to do? Ah, picture time. And actually, there is a quicker way up there. I said, you know, I don't have any fast travel points. I kind of lied there. Uh, you can always warp up to Sky Islands and fly down. Been there, okay, got it. Alrighty guys, so I am here at the Grinch's Christmas tree atop the mountain. That's where this came right out of the Dr. Seuss movie. And we're supposed to be looking for a bird. So... I kinda sorta see it if I use my imagination real, real hard. Matter of fact, it, it kinda, it's pronounced a little bit better to me now in this game then I remember what it was in Breath of the Wild. In Breath of the Wild, there was nothing there. It was just mountains. But in this one, I can kind of sort of see, like, maybe there might be a bird shape there if you use real, real good imagination. All right, so anyway, uh, since we already have our quest activated, that's important because if you want to know, you know, whether or not you're getting the picture in right, um, you know, that quest marker shows up. So notice that red bubble right by the word bird there. So that confirms you're getting the picture he wants. Okay, so from here, just simply warp back to our shrine. Okay, so go ahead and talk to yeah. your stable master once again. So I'm, you know, put the picture up. We'll let him have it. Okay, let him have it. 
Now something I forgot to mention when I first started this quest is if you're watching my video and you, you know, try to talk to the wall and you can't, you know, the empty picture frame, and, you know, there's some kind of note there that says blah 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 blah, the proprietor or something, I can't remember what exactly, but that means that you can't do it yet. You have to wait until you do a regional phenomena, then these will open up to you throughout the stables in Hyrule. Alright guys, I'm going to take a quick moment and... Make sure I'm not missing anything. I got the Karak Seed. I know there's a treasure chest around here somewhere. But the weird thing is my, my thing isn't lighting up, so I must have either scooped it up and just, you know, did it on autopilot. Oh, I know what it was. Okay, I'm getting my wells mixed up. Um, that was the dog chest I'm thinking of. N disregard. I knew there was something back here, but I got my lines crossed there temporarily. It, it's going to happen. Alright folks, so I hope that helps you all out. Best of luck, happy hunting, and if you wouldn't mind, please leave a note, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Till the next time, peace!